ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm David Field, otherwise known as Dave Dobbs, uh, because of my um, Mayor of Bristol sort of crazy campaigning. Um, here we are in the bear pit. This is a, um, well let me just quickly show you around the bear pit so you can see what's going on. This is the big, wide, wonderful bear pit. This is where all the action in Bristol is happening right now. This is the centre of the universe. So, okay, so just in the space here, this is a PRSC space, uh, People's Republic of Stokes Croft that is. Um, right now we are displaying Chris Hopewell's work mostly, although we have got one piece from another artist called Sepper. These two pieces were down, done down here, sitting below Little King, Ryan down here, who's, gonna, who's one of our candidates for the birthday parties, but we're going to speak to him in a very quick moment. So okay, coming over to here. Trying to bring some wonder into Stokes Croft, and guess what's happening? Which you haven't heard anything about because no one wants you to know is a local election coming up. A local election. And what happens in local election is we are all bored out of the arena. So we are trying to bring some colour into the whole thing, and the way we're doing that is by doing a performance based political party. So here we have Are You Bored, Disillusioned, Fecked Off, and Generally Sick and Tired of Politics? We're doing political skills workshops. You can do baby kissing workshops, money good. manipulation, duplicity, lying, deceitfulness. It's a birthday party. It's at the Looking Glass. It's next Wednesday, Wednesday the 20th, Wednesday the 27th, and April the 3rd. So with all the, all the next Wednesdays, apart from this one, we're going to be getting the candidates together to do a performance-based political party. Party being the emphasis word there, because the birthday party doesn't do policies, no policies. So if I come over here, very important I should say, we've got chai down here. If you need chai, essential. That's also essential, but most importantly, sorry, did I get that in there? But most importantly, is that you come next Wednesday, because you might be a political, you, you could be a political candidate. We, you, all you've got to do is rock your tune out, rock your poetry out, rock whatever you've got out. So we're now going to go over to my good man, Ryan, and your friend, and also known as Little King. Can you give us a line, please? Anything. Say some words of wisdom. Come close to the microphone. Or you come closer. You left your comfort there. Come. Born to lose, but I broke all the rules. Took time to choose. Be a victim of abuse or be a recluse. But that's all you can choose in a world that's misused. Where even the wise were confused. As anti-human laws are included in snorting messed up polluted. Unnecessary system of capitalist it consuming. No need for assuming and jump into a conclusion because you'll learn if you study this burden the world is facing is uncertain. But is this our final curtain? Was humanity always supposed to strangle itself to death without learning while the fossil fuel's still burning? What's the use of earning? If there's no collective, I'm hurting. If you knew you'd lose your loved ones tomorrow, would your day feel sorrow? Would you beg, steal, borrow a life less hollow? Learn to lead yourself, not just follow. Would you quit acting shallow, knowing that materialism is not the answer? My bro tells me not to be a martyr and just that money to live happily ever after. I burst out into laughter. Happily live through disaster. How the monetary system work? We need to just barter, learn to love and respect each other and work harder. And when I say work harder, I don't mean doing a 9 to 5 faster. I mean getting back to nature. Less bar charts in car parks, more star charts in public parks. But where to start? Most are so caught up in this fast-paced modern living that they fail to see the beauty in the world they've been given. So they diss it, dismiss it, mock and abuse it, call anyone who chooses to defend it a loser, a hippie or stupid. We've got David Attenborough on HD television showing us saying nature needs to absorb garbage. Some of these human beings become enough more than domesticated felines that lack emotional feelings. Am I the only one seeing this? I remember there was this one kid in school who didn't have a TV. We all laughed at him, you see, but ten years on, I respect him. What a G. I have mine switched off a year now, my mind's becoming free. I'm no longer apathetic. So what do you think I'm going to do with the money when I get it? I've had many deep debates with the elders about the state of my generation. I've come to the conclusion it's the lack of any real education. I don't believe I'm a god or a king. I'm a human being becoming a man. You must understand, it's just a me, be happy being, to lust for some land so food can be a period. How I must be dreaming, the dramatic difference between the rich and the poor has left me seething, but now I overstand poverty could be easily changed. So I'm left disbelieving this illusion and game. I think they call it a name monopoly and the bank is cheating. So why do I feel so empowered by fasting going about for one month now? I said, not much eating. I will tell you how, but for now, just give me a sign. Now that is a manifesto. 
you could bring a manifesto like that. You could rock out a tune, anything you like, but come and bring some wisdom and some colour into the local Bristol elections. Because it's a freight train that brings corporate tidings, folks. It's a freight train that comes in the dead of night and it takes all that is good away. Get involved. Just bring some colour. You fought for it. Why shouldn't you get involved with it? The birthday party. Come on, guys. I want to see you next Wednesday. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a looking glass. We did say it was a looking glass, didn't we? I think we mentioned that. Thank you. See you later.